There are eight species of pangolins in the world, four living in Asia and four in Africa. Today, we're going to talk about Southeast Asia's Sunda pangolin. I'm your host, Romy Casanino, and I'm a conservation scientist, writer, and photographer. Every episode, we'll be introducing you to new animals caught on camera traps around the world. And we are getting some footage from Manga Bay. These are some of the extents we take to get our SD card. Don't forget to subscribe to Mongabay to get notifications about our latest videos. Sunda pangolins, also known as the Malayan or Javan pangolins, are unique mammals. They are covered by many rows of overlapping scales, which are made from keratin, the same protein that forms human hair and fingernails. The scales never stop growing and are constantly filed down as pangolins dig burrows and forage for insects. Pangolins use their acute smelling senses to find insects and their powerful claws to dig into the ground in search of ant nests or to tear into termite mounds. To collect the insects, they use their extremely long and thin tongues, which is covered with sticky saliva. To protect themselves from ant or termite attacks, pangolins have special muscles that can seal their nostrils, ears and mouths. This solitary nocturnal animal has a prehensile tail, which makes it an agile climber. Pangolins give birth each year to one baby, although sometimes to twins. Newborns have scales that are soft and pale and begin to harden by the second day. Pangolins are predated by many animals like tigers, leopards, clouded leopards, wild dogs and pythons. When threatened, they roll into a ball like armadillos do, hiding their vulnerable belly and other parts not covered by the tough scales. And when they have babies, a mother will protectively roll around her infant, and they also do it when sleeping. Pangolins are the most trafficked mammal in the world. The Sunda pangolin is listed as critically endangered by the IUCN, and there is a complete international ban on commercial trade in this species. It is crucial that conservation efforts focus on preventing poaching, ending illegal trade, and protecting the habitats of these animals. In the next episode, we'll be meeting a wild cat from North America that can kill prey much bigger than themselves, up to eight times their own weight. Tell us in the comments if you know what animal it is. See you next time. Mm -hmm.